let's take a look at some of the rendering options found in WaveLab Pro 9. What we often want to do in WaveLab is to take the result of all of our edits, such as fade-ins and fade-outs, level adjustments, and master effects section processing through plugins like the Master Rig and create a new audio file as a result of that. So there's several different ways of doing this in a very flexible manner. So one of the ways that's the simplest way is to say we want to render the whole file and we want to do it in place. And now what we're going to do is as we play back the file, the result that we hear through the master section, we want to create a new audio file with that plugin processing. So we'll choose to start the file. And we can see the progress indicator here in the lower left hand side. And as we do this, we see the waveform amplitude has grown as a result of the processing of this plugin. Now there's several clever options for this. One of them would actually be to, uh, that's on by default, is to bypass the master section on the resulting audio file. So once we did this, the master section in its entirety has been bypassed so that we don't doubly process unnecessarily the same files again. Now, while that's very fast and convenient, it doesn't allow us a lot of flexibility because the original file has been overwritten. So if I wanted to undo that, just Control or Command Z, what I could do now is I could have it create a separate audio file as an unnamed file. So we'll hit Start. Again, we can watch the progress indicator here on the lower left hand side. And now we have track three and now we have untitled one. And now we could choose to save this wherever we want to on our file system and give it a name. We could also, I'll close this file, choose to do a named file. So here we could say I want this to be uh, track zero three with FX indicating that it's been processed through different effects. We could also employ different naming schemes. So if you wanted to add different separators or counters, we could do that. And we could choose our file location and our fo format right here. And now we'll hit render. And again, we can see the indicator here, progress, the lower left-hand corner. And we've created a brand new file that's automatically been saved for us in our defined location. So it's easy to do for the entire file, but what if we want to render just a portion of a file? And here's where we could actually choose to just render the selected audio range. So if I wanted to take this and let's just render in place here, at this point I could choose start and it's only gonna apply the master effects processing to that selected range. Now there's some other flexibility as well. So let's say if I have multiple pieces within my file and what I want to do is to be able to render individual pieces out. So I'm gonna to go to my insert and what I want to do is just come here, I'm gonna define a range and we'll call this our intro and then I'll just define kind of generic markers here. So we'll call this Allegro Define our markers, and you can see the marker name being carried over, and then we'll call this finale. So now what I could do is go back to my render dialog, and we'll just click here. Go choose my render dialog page, and we could choose to render this all selections. And now what I'm able to do is we could give it our named file and we'll just come directly here start and we can see that now our intro our allegro and our finale have all been rendered independently just that easily now one of the challenges in delivering files today is the fact that you often have to deliver the same content but in multiple audio file formats it could be a high resolution 24-bit 192k a 24-bit 48K for video, 16-bit 44.1 for CD, MP3, AAC. So one of the things that we've incorporated is a multi-render function. So if we click on the render button in the master section in the bottom right-hand corner, we could actually choose to not only do a single render, but a multi-render. 
So what I've done is I've kind of set up a preset here just to give you an idea. And we could tell it exactly where we want the files to go to. And let's go ahead and edit our multi format. So what I've done is I've set it up as uh, a 24 bit, 16 bit. We have an AAC and several different MP3 formats. But if I wanted to, I could just come here, create a factory preset. So let's say I want it to be an AUG Vorbis file. I can now scroll down here. We want to put it into a subfolder and I'll just call the subfolder AUG Vorbis. And what I want to do now is we can just simply hit OK. And we're gonna go ahead and start this render. And what it's going to do is I just want to, uh, before we do that, I'll just choose we want it to be the whole file. And now when we go to do our render, we could do our multi-render. We'll hit start. We're going to go ahead and say we want it to be for that particular file. And as we do this, it's now gonna render and output multiple formats at one time so that I don't have to do it one by one by one by one repeatedly where I'm gonna make a mistake over and over again. So you can see our different formats that are being export it and now if I wanted to just look into my finder window I could see that they've automatically been carried over into their individual file folders as well so that everything is organized. So you could see how flexible the different rendering options are for WaveLab so that you could easily deliver all of your different file formats. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to like the video and to subscribe to the channel.